What is going on, everybody? Today is July 3rd, 2020, which means today is the 35th anniversary of the original Back to the Future's release in theaters. And if you've been following my videos for the last couple of years, or if you've looked at my site the last couple of years, you may have noticed that I love these movies. I love the Back to the Future trilogy. I put them in my top ten of my favorite movies of all time, which means I have numerous different versions of the these of these movies on different formats. So I figured today for the 35th anniversary, why not go ahead and take a look at some of these formats? So I've got them all right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. And I'll go ahead and start with the past, and you're going to see right here, this is the big Back to the Future Part 2 video box. Like, you used to go to video stores, and you would see, like, these special promotional things that they did, and this is one of the things that they had. I actually picked this up at a Steel City Con a couple of years ago. And I picked this one, and I really like this one because Back to the Future Part 2 was actually the first movie I ever saw. I saw this in one of the weirdest orders possible. I saw this one first, then I saw the first one, and then I saw the third one. So, really, I had no... is that When I first saw these movies, I had no idea what was going on at the time. But then again, I was just a little kid. I was just a little kid, because I saw these in the 90s when USA used to air these all the time. But uh, Back to the Future Part 2, this is a box that I got, like I said, at the Steel City Con. But you're probably wondering, why am I showing you this? Why am I not showing you, like, the videotapes or anything like that? Well, I'm going to show you the videotapes, because if I open this up right here, you will see... Lego Star Wars. I don't know why that's in there. Give me one sec. Yeah, I don't know what that was doing in there. There, that's the box for the deluxe edition of Lego the Star Wars Force, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, but we don't need to worry about that right now. But this is what I wanted to show you. These are the my Back to the Future videotapes. This one is the not the original original version from 1986, but the 1989 reprint from MCA Home Video right around the time Back to the Future Part 2 came out. So there's the back, one of the top grossing box office comedies of all time. Now, I actually picked this up at Universal Studios Florida when I went down there for the one time in the, like, the late 90s. This was, like, before Islands of Adventure opened up. I, rem I do remember getting this at, at a Universal Studios store. I don't know if it was the official one, but it was definitely one of those stores from back in the early 90s. And I know there was, like, numerous different versions of this, because there's one that's by MCA Universal Home Video that McDonald's had for, like, a some kind of promo event they did back in the early 90s. But this is the one from 1989. So here is the tape itself. And what's interesting on this label right here is that it says 1986 for the copyright date. But if you go to the side here for the longer sticker zoom in there you go if you look right here come on okay I thought that for some reason I thought that said 1989 I guess that is 1986 so I get I'm guessing this is the 1986 video just put in the 1989 box but I don't believe this one, I believe this one does have the to be continue that they added at the end of Back to the Future 1 whenever they announced the sequels. I don't cuz I think the cuz I know on the DVD releases that I'm going to show you in a little bit, they did not have that. That and I believe they did add it for this particular version. So that's the first Back to the Future videotape and these other two I picked up at a I believe they picked these up at a Cash and Culture whenever they whenever that was in Westmoreland, but Back to the Future Part 2, there's the original VHS of that. Nineteen ninety the copyright date, and then there's the back there. So there's the cover. And now here is the tape itself. Be kind, please rewind. So there's the label on the front. And the label on the long side. So, that's, so there's Back to the Future 2. And then last but not least, we have Back to the Future Part 3. My least favorite of this series, but, I still, but I've grown to enjoy it more over the years. Like, I was not the biggest fan of Part 3 whenever I saw this the first time around. But like I said, it did grow on me in the years since. 
And I remember last night when I pulled this out, trying to get the tape out was a little difficult. But there you go. Here's the interesting thing about this particular one. It has the Macrovision encoded with an anti-copying process sticker on the side. And if you go to the long wave sticker, to ensure best play, your VCR must be directly connected to your TV or monitor. Use of two or more VCRs linked together could resort in distorted playback. I believe this was, what, if I remember correctly, this was one of the first ones to have Macrovision on it. Because I do remember a lot of tapes back in the early 90s had that Macrovision. I know Ninja Turtles 2, I believe, had that, if I'm not mistaken. But So, um, there you go. Those are the Back to the Future video cassettes. And I keep them nice and protected inside this Back to the Future Part 2 video box. Okay, so we're now jumping ahead to the DVDs. Now, I actually did have the original Back to the Future DVD trilogy set from 2002, but I got rid of that whenever I purchased the, whenever I purchased the not even this version, the, these versions. I'll start with this one right here because they actually re-released these in 2009. They had Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. I got rid of 2 and 3, but I bought, I kept this one because one of the collectible film sale that comes with this, and I believe this one also has Back to the Future The Ride, which is not available on the DVD version of this. I'll show you that in a little bit, but here's the f the 2009 re-release of Back to the Future. Oh, and this also has, like, the Back to the Future Night special they did on NBC with Leslie Nielsen whenever Back to the Future Part 2 came out. So there's that. Let me go ahead and show you the inside. There's the film cell. Marty and Doc watching the time machine go, watching the DeLorean go back in time. Some information on the back. Number 1541. Here's like a little pamphlet that tells you about Back to the Future the Ride. And then here are the discs. Nothing too special about this one. The Back to the Future logo. On that one, as well as on this one with the bonus features. So yeah, that's the 2009 Back to the Future DVD. And now here's the Back to the Future 25th Anniversary Trilogy Collection. A little pop out there. Okay, so this does have Back to the Future of the Ride. I th so, why did I keep the other one? I think the I kept this one because Back to the Future Night was on the that one, if I'm not mistaken. I knew that there had to be a reason I kept this one. Maybe I just kept it for the film cell because I probably couldn't fit it in here, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so there's the stuff from the pop-up. There's the back. And then look at the set itself. Here's like a little pamphlet for the digital copy. Different things for Back to the Future, the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, Back to the Future, the video game, and then an ad for Despicable Me. Here's all the special features for Back to the Future. All the, tri all the stuff from the, tri from the movies themselves, and then the bonus disc. Yeah, I don't think this includes the Back to the Future Night thing. That's why I probably kept this one. Here's the receipt for it. For it. October 29th, 2010. 35 bucks I paid for that. So there's Back to the Future 1. There's a digital copy disc for each movie. Back to the Future 2. Back to the Future 3. And Back to the Future, the, 20, the bonus disc. And behind the disc, you have an Im you have the posters for each movie with the credits. Back to the Future 1, Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future 3, and then the... This was a te I think this was part of the teaser for Back to the Future 2, but like that's the image of the DeLorean from the back. So, um, yeah. That's all the stuff from the Back to the Future 25th Anniversary DVD set. And now here we have the Back to the Future 25th Anniversary Blu-ray set. 
A lot of the same features on here. This, this one has a nice boss, debossing on it because I don't think this other one did, did except for on the front. But like if on here the logo's embossed, so is the stuff on the front, but on the back this ultimate high def experience is debossed. So there's that. Take a look inside here. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because one, a lot of this is pretty much the same stuff that's on the 25th anniversary set there. But the other reason is because if you ever saw these sets, you knew that they had a little bit of a difficulty trying to like get out of the packaging. Jinx. So I try, so I'm not going to take them all out. I can tell you that inside of these is everything that is the post same poster art from the 25th anniversary set. So. I'm not going to mess too much around them here. You get, you still get the pamphlet here. I do think they, I do remember these do coming with a thing on telling you how to slip, take these out of here because you had to be really delicate when you took these discs out. But I will show you the discs right here. So there's Back to the Future, the blue, the first Blu-ray. There's the one for part two, and there is the one for part three. So that is the Back to the Future 25th anniversary Blu-ray set. Here's a list of the special features that are on here. Alright, so now we're getting into the 30th anniversary set here. This was actually a Target exclusive. It came out around the same time Jurassic World came out on Blu-ray, but I picked this up at a Walmart a few months ago during it. One of those times where I went steelbook crazy. It was one of those days where they had so many steelbooks there at, at this Walmart that I went to that I had to pick them up. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that video on the side there so you can see the video where I got this at. But yeah, this is the Back to the Future 30th Anniversary Trilogy that was part of the... That was a Target exclusive. I believe this was a blue... At Target, it was a Blu-ray DVD combo. But I think this one is just a Blu-ray com combo here, and I'll show you that inside. See the back of the DeLorean and... Get a nice image here. I'll show you that in just a second. So there's the image of the DeLorean being projected on the front of the steel book. So here is the back. Only bonus disc. This has episodes of Back to the Future, the TV series too, which I have the entire series in another in this last set that I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Another pamphlet for different Universal films, digital code for the Back to the Future trilogy, and then you have these the Blu-rays itself. There's the one for Back to the Future, Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future 3, show you that, and then the bonus disc. Which again, they're pretty much the same. That last disc did not want to come out. But yeah, it's pretty much the same stuff from the other versions I have. But inside you have the same image of Marty and Doc seeing the time machine go back in time at the Twin Pines Mall in 1985. Alright, so that is the Best Back to the Future Steelbook Edition for the 30th Anniversary Trilogy. And now we come to the last Back to the Future box set I have. The Back to the Future Complete Adventure Series with the Flux Capacitor, which does not work, unfortunately. The batteries must have died out on this, but as you can see, it's the Flux Capacitor. This is what makes time travel possible. Nothing on the back, which... There's the case inside, so let's go ahead and open this up. And one of the first things you see right away is the back to the is the regular Back to the Future 30th Anniversary Trilogy set, and this is the regular edition that they sold at the time. So there's the spine, and there's the back. Again, same special features as the Steel Book, and then here's the stuff of the inside. And okay, these are different. These are different. These are different uh, disc designs. It's pretty much the re they pretty much repackaged the 2010 version. So you have Back to the Future there, and if I go to these other ones here, it's going to be the same ones. Back to the Future Two. There's the one for Back to the Future Two. Like I said, pretty much the same one. There's Back to the Future Three. 
get it out of the case. There we go. Back to the Future 3. And then here's the one for the Back to the Future bonus disc. And this one's pretty much the same one that's in the Steelbook. So there you go. That's the Back to the Future 30th Anniversary Trilogy set. But we have one, But let's take a look at what else is inside this Complete Adventures 10. As you see right here, we have the Back to the Future Complete Animated Series that does not want to come out of there. I'm having trouble getting stuff out of here today. Alright, so there it is, the complete animated series on DVD, which they did actually se release this separately, at se eventually, shortly, a I don't know if they did it right at the time this came out or shortly afterward, but they did eventually re-release this on, on its own separate DVD set. So there's the discs. It's been a long time since I've actually watched the show, honestly. So there you go with that. And then you get like a nice book here about the visual history of Back to the Future, which is actually a smaller version of the bigger book, which I actually do own. Shows you like some behind the scenes stuff here. Different t posters before they went with the iconic one. Some stuff for the digital code. Some more promos. There's the thing for the whole book. Different games. Lego Dimensions game. An ad for the 12 Monkey Show. Here's a thing to replace the batteries on here. So if I ever want to get, ever want that to light up again, I can just replace the batteries. Unless it goes out of, the, goes away. I'll, I'll get to that. And then here's the back. Here's the J card from the back. So other than that, that's pretty much it for that set. So there you go, guys. That's the Back to the Future, the Complete Adventures box set. And there you go. That is my entire Back to the Future VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray collection. I am never going to get rid of these versions, honestly. Even if I, even if I don't have a VHS, a DVD, or Blu-ray player anymore, I'm still going to keep these around. This is, what, this is still one of my favorite movie series of all time. And I'm definitely going to keep these around no matter what. So anyway, though, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, give me your thoughts on the Back to the Future series. I want to—I so really want to know what you guys think of this series in general. What are some of your favorite moments? What are some of the things that you like about these movies? Let me know in the comments below. And I should mention that I'm hoping that this year, when I, this this year that we're going to get like a 4K release of these movies, like a, a 4K restoration of these films, which I hope we do, and I hope they come up with some nice packaging for it because I'm definitely going to pick those up. But like I said, let me know your thoughts on these movies. Let me know your thoughts on how you saw these movies for the first time. Let me know in the comments below. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And check out the episode where I got the Back to the Future Steelbook from. Along with some other... It's either that or I'll show you some fun little Back to the Future related videos on the side here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, like I said, hit the like and subscribe button. So until the next time I see you, I'll leave you with the words of Doc Brown. The future is what you make of it. So make it a damn good one. Take care.